Bradley School, we're in Coralitas, which is just a little uh, north of Watsonville, uh, kind of a rural area. Uh, we've got about 524 kids, but up until um, this year, getting kids on computers was pretty difficult. Last year, the district rolled out Chromebook carts to elementary schools, so we got two carts. The teachers have loved having them. There were a few teachers that really used them a lot last year, and so I've gotten more teachers on board this year. ACS Chromebooks have been a godsend to this class this year for many different reasons. I think uh, primarily because we have a split grade class, so we have a combo, a fifth and a sixth grade. In fact, we have the only one in the district. Each individual student has been engaged <laughs> focused, quiet, behavioral issues go away. I saw something that I didn't realize would happen, that t some of our teachers were getting a little tired. They're, they're refreshed. They like the idea that everything's right there for them. They don't have to go to a copy machine and print things off. They have to learn how to use Google Docs. It allowed us to roll out a large number um, in a short period of time. We piloted the SBAC testing. Um, for the state of California there, with other selected districts and we needed to roll this out rapidly. We were really looking at bringing Chromebooks to our students for those two purposes. One, to be gearing up for state assessments, but also to help um, ensure that our instruction is preparing our students for 21st century um, learning. As we move into a new era of curriculum, Common Core, what is the best way to deliver that curriculum? And clearly, the best way is no longer to go through a book. Specifically, ACES Chromebooks have been outstanding in allowing them to focus as individuals on their work. Uh, whatever assignments we've been giving, whether it's a writing assignment, whether it's a math assignment, whether it's a social studies and history research assignment, whether it's a science research assignment or presentation. We're doing a project that we have to videotape ourselves in a video and I'm excited for that. And so we're gonna do videotaping with our Chromebooks. My favorite thing is that you can have a lot of windows open at the same time and be doing research. And then um, you never really lose your internet connection because the connection's really strong. And I like that the touchpad's bigger because I'm really not a touchpad guy. And, and I don't even use a mouse anymore. The Chromebooks became a much better option because number one, you know, you shut them down and then when a kid gets back on and turns them on, they're on and up within 10 seconds. You know, they're super reliable, the batteries last forever. The Chromebooks are almost the curriculum. Um, kids walk in, they grab their books, there's usually a morning prompt for bell work, um, oftentimes grammar related. Uh, they get right to work with that and they start working. And then we go on to Google Classroom where we see our larger projects, projects that we've been working on. Um, right now in history class, for example, the students are working on a larger all quarter long renaissance project. And so in this class right now, if I look over there, I got students who are working on a five paragraph essay based on the renaissance. If we look behind us right now, I know I got students working on um, a video that they've done reciting a Hamlet speech. There's a ton of advantages for using ASUS Chromebooks because it's running the Chrome OS, which doesn't get malware, it has automatic updates, it's it's secure so the students having that experience on the Chromebook, they're not going to have to be fearful of anything bad or any hacking. One of the key factors in our decision to go with the ASUS Chromebooks in the district was the accidental damage protection. People take very good care of the Chromebooks, having this added insurance, so to speak, where we could uh, uh, send Chromebooks back that have any kind of an issue over the first year gave us a peace of mind. I actually asked a group of teachers um, last week um, if they had a choice between having one-to-one -one devices for their students um, that had, or having textbooks, doing another textbook adoption, they did not want to go back to a textbook, that they really wanted to be able to um, do what they're doing now which is exactly what students will be doing in college and in the workplace. They are so thrilled to be having access to not just, you know, technology, but the world. 